I'm Morgan. Welcome to my channel. If you've already seen the first recipe that I filmed, thank you for watching. I'll also include a link below in case you would like to see that recipe. It was a really good one. But if this is your first time tuning in, I like to share delicious recipes on my channel, quick and easy meals that you can make at home or during a weeknight, trying out new spots and bring those to you. Before we get started on today's recipe, I wanted to introduce you to my crew that you'll be seeing on my channel. So first, I want to introduce you to our boy, Bert. He is a three-year-old purebred ragdoll. He is a rescue, and he's gonna be four years old this May. And this is our boy, Berlioz. He is three years old. He just turned three in March. He is a long-haired gray cat. Um, he's also a rescue. We're kind of looking into what he is. He might be a cross between like a Russian blue and a neatling. But this is Berlioz. I'd also like to introduce you to Kale. He is the film director and executive taste tester. And this is our crew. My family and friends are a huge part of my life and I really look forward to bringing in my family and incorporating them onto this channel, but I just really love how food brings everybody together and that's what I look forward to bringing to you. Now that I've had a chance to introduce you to my group, let's get started on today's recipe. This one is great to make during the week when you're short on time, you have a lot of things going on, you don't have a lot of time to prep a recipe and then wait for it to bake. It's a baked salmon and arugula goat cheese salad with walnuts and it can be done in under 30 minutes. So first we'll get started on the marinade. If you do have the time to make the marinade and allow the salmon to sit in the fridge, even a couple hours, that would be awesome, or if you can do it overnight. If you're short on time, you get home late, you just need to make something fast. If you even let this sit for 10 minutes, it starts to infuse great flavor into the fish, and then you can throw it in the oven. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is preheat your oven, going to 425. So now we'll get started on the salmon marinade, and here I have about four tablespoons of olive oil, and to that, I'll be adding in a quarter cup of soy sauce. I also add in a serrano pepper, so here I just kind of thinly diced one. You can do small dice or not use it, but it does add some good flavor to the recipe. So I'll add in the serrano. This is two to three garlic cloves, depending on your preference. Just went ahead and minced those. And then the juice from half a lemon, about two tablespoons. Now I'm going in and adding about two tablespoons of spicy brown mustard, just starting to mix that in and incorporate it. To that, I'm gonna be adding in one teaspoon of dried oregano. Next, going in with two tablespoons of honey. And final thing will be about a teaspoon of red chili pepper flakes. You don't have to add these in, but again, it really does add some great flavor. So here I have two six ounce pieces of king salmon. I'm gonna go ahead and add the salmon marinade we just made right on top. Since I'm short on time, I'm gonna have these sit in the fridge to marinate for 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'll go ahead and get everything prepped for the salad. So while the salmon is marinating, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the salad dressing. In here, I have a quarter cup of olive oil ready to go. This is two garlic cloves that I went ahead and minced. You can use two to three, and then a shallot just thinly diced up, so I'm gonna add that in. Get everything in there. And then also to that, I'm adding in about the juice of half of a lemon, so roughly two tablespoons. Next thing going into the salad dressing is gonna be a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Starting to incorporate that. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. You can also use rice vinegar, any other vinegar that you have for this recipe. And then last thing I'm gonna be adding in is two tablespoons of honey. And then just seasoning with salt and pepper to taste once you get everything mixed up. All right, 
so the salad dressing's made. I'm just gonna set that aside for right now. I've got my salmon out of the fridge, just marinated for about 10 minutes. And I'm gonna add this onto a lined baking sheet. I've got the salmon in the oven. While that's going, you can go ahead and get the arugula salad prepped. So since there's just two of us, I've got two bowls here, about a cup of arugula in each one. I'm using baby arugula for these, and then we'll go ahead and get started adding on the pears. So to the baby arugula, I just went ahead and thinly sliced some green pear. You can use any pear that you like. I just sliced it thin and then cut it up into small pieces, adding that right on top. So pear is added into the salad. I also did a little bit of red onion, just thinly sliced right on top. And then going in with the walnuts, you can use anything that you choose. For these, I actually preheat the oven to 350 um, and then lightly toasted them until they're golden brown. So it's usually about six to seven minutes. They are cool, so I'll be adding those right on top here. If you don't like walnuts, you could add pecans. We've actually tried it with both and love it either way. Now I'm gonna be adding in some goat cheese, about two ounces. This is the honey goat cheese log from HEB. It is our absolute favorite. So that's what I'm gonna go in with right on top. You could also do a mixture of goat cheese and blue cheese as well, or just any mild cheese you like. Cheese is on, the salmon's got about a minute and a half left, so I'm gonna go ahead and start dressing the salad adding the vinaigrette right on top. All right, so salmon is plated. I just went ahead and put this on another plate. Totally up to you. You could add it right on top of the salad too. And we're gonna go ahead and taste. The spiciness that you get from the red chili flake and then also the serrano pepper really balances out with the honey and the lemon that's in the marinade. If you let that soak in even like 10 to 15 minutes, it really does add great flavor to your salmon. So now going in and trying the salad, lots of great flavors here. The nuttiness from the walnut really pairs well with the goat cheese. This salmon marinade I feel like really pairs well with anything that we've put it with in the past. Um, this arugula salad really goes well with this though. So if you do try this recipe, please let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of great food content heading your way. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.